Hello everybody. Today I'm here to talk to you people about the warning signs of serious eye conditions. Eyes are considered to be one of the panchendriyas, the five sense organs that we are born with. These are one of the most intricate and delicate organs of our body. The importance of the eyes is not only in the fact that they give us vision, they also help us lead a very beautiful and happy life. Thus, there is an importance in knowing why we should take care of our eyes and recognize the warning signs in the eye. There are certain conditions in the eye which can be very annoying, for example, not being able to see near objects, but these are not ominous signs. So let us discuss what are the conditions in which you should seek medical intervention and address the disease appropriately. The few of the uh, conditions or the warning signs of serious eye problems could be a sudden loss of vision. This sudden loss of vision can be painless or it can be painful. When it is painful, it's commonly associated with condition of the eye termed as acute congestive glaucoma, which involves high eye pressure. Or it could be because the patient has developed a cataractus lens which has been inside far more than what's required and has burst open inside the eye, resulting in painful eye called as lens induced glaucoma. When it is a painless sudden loss of vision, it's more or less the conditions of the retina, uh, what we term as a retinal artery occlusion, a retinal vein occlusion, a retinal detachment, or vitreous hemorrhage. The vision loss can also be complained as just blurry vision or cloudy vision or a hazy vision. These are the most common things that are observed with conditions of the eye like cataract, a refractive error like a myopia or a hyperopia, wherein the patient is unable to see without the glasses, a condition of the cornea which are keratoconus, conditions of retina such as the macular degeneration or retinal detachment, uh, as well as conditions of the eye called keratitis or an infection of the cornea. The patient could also have some of the warning signs such as floaters and flashes inside the eye. Now, what are these floaters and flashes? Floaters happen inside the eye as uh, we have a gel inside the eye, which we term as the vitreous. Now, this undergoes age-related degeneration and casts a shadow upon the retina. The floaters are therefore seen as dots, threads or cobweb-like structures. They are very common aging process of the eye and they are very common in people with minus power, whom we term as minus. However, if the number of floaters suddenly increase from say about 3 to 4 to about 20 and you also notice some amount of drop in vision, that's your red flag to run towards your long term. The flashes inside the eye are described by one as seeing torch light inside the eye, which is brightly shone. Now, the same gel that's inside the eye, the vitreous, can actually pull upon the retina and result in these flashes. Flashes are an ominous sign because it shows that there's some part of the retina getting pulled. So, there could be a tear in that part of the retina. And hence, uh, it's important for you to seek medical attention in these cases. There could also be a vision obstruction in the form of a curtain falling in front of your eye or a veil in front of the eye. And this is a definite red flag for you because this could be an early indication of what we term as retinal detachment, which needs a emergency surgical attachment. And uh, the prognosis of the condition is very much dependent on surgery here. There could be other signs in the eye, which are warning signs again like seeing a dark spot in front of the eye. These are also common in certain eye conditions like the macular hole or what we term as a CSR in the eye or a macular degeneration. Sometimes a patient with diabetes could have bleeding right in the center of the eye. So they visualize a dark spot in the field of vision of the eye. Another ominous sign to look for is narrowing of the field of vision or peripheral vision loss as a stem. We have a central field of vision where both the eyes are seen normally, but you have a peripheral field. For example, if you drive straightly, one cannot notice the vehicles which are coming up front from the right side or the left side. 
Now, this is common in condition called as glaucoma, as well as in a condition called retinitis pigmentosa, which leads to uh, night blindness in the eye. The other warning uh, signs in the eye that you should look for one is colored halos. Now, what are these colored halos? If you look at a bulb and you see rainbow like pattern around the bulb, then that's an ominous sign for you because it's seen in conditions like cataract, it's seen in glaucoma. So please do come to your doctor when you see colored halos. The other things in the eye that you should again keep your uh, red flags on are increased watering along with redness in the eye. The redness and watching are very common symptoms in the eye. However, if, if this is associated with increased sensitivity to the light, inability to open the eye in bright light, it's a very important uh, and a serious condition in the eye. Probably a uveitis is what you're looking for. The pink eye or the red eye, which is most commonly noticed, is conjunctivitis, which is uh, more often termed as mitral eye for us a blepharitis, which is an infection of the eyelids. The watching in the eye could also be because of obstruction of the lacrimal duct, which is supposed to drain all the tears from your eyes, and that could get infected as well. Uh, next, coming to a few more signs in the eye which are ominous, it could be something that you see on the eyelid, a growth, a lump on the eyelid. Now, such lumps are very common when you have a condition of the eye called dysty which is nothing but a pimple on the eye. However, if this is associated with redness, with pain, with increase in size, with a surrounding area becoming uh, uh, swollen, then you should seek medical advice here. There could be some amount of fleshy growth, which you can see on the black portion of the eye, which we normally term as pterygium, or it could be an ominous sign, as it could also be some kind of carcinoma in the eye. The other thing you should always look for are whether the eyes are straight when one is looking forward. If you have crossed eyes and you notice that right from childhood, you should bring the child for an examination because that is probably a congenital squint we are looking at. And the brain therefore sees two different images and would start suppressing one of the image with the resultant lazy eye in the eye. Correction of such children with glasses or surgery is what would be recommended. These crossed eyes can also develop much later in life when one has paralysis of one of the nerves which are supplying the eye muscles which are more common with diabetics and hypertensives. Also, it could sometimes unravel an underlying neurological disorder inside the eye. Uh, the other things that you can look for is any change in the color of the eye. Most of us Indians have brown or black irises. So if you start seeing that one of the eyes is colored blue and the other is brown, please do seek some medical intervention here. It could be something that we term as iritis or pupillitis that we're dealing with. Now the size of the pupil, the central black portion of the eye could be different in both the eyes. And that means probably we're looking at an underlying neurological condition there. Rarely patients come to us with the difficulty in uh, ability to focus from bright light to dark light and vice versa. This could be early signs of night blindness or what we call as cone rod or rod cone dystrophies. So these are a list of conditions that you know which do need medical treatment advice. I hope I have empowered you with the knowledge to seek the right medical attention as and when required. You're all welcome to come to our hospital and we are here to treat you. Thank you.